Mike Moore Media. Another podcast as we continue with the countywide food drive this month and next here in Rockingham County. There are eight agencies and uh, Rockingham County schools added uh, to the group this year benefiting from the food drive. You can help. We're going to tell you how. One of those agencies is Hands of God. And Greg Braswell is on the phone to tell us more about that ministry. Hey, Greg, how are you? Doing well. Hope you are. Thanks for asking. I'm doing great. And uh, I've heard so many good things over the years about Hands of God. How long has this uh, been going on? Oh, let's see. Since March of 1995, so about 27 years. Wow, that's great. And you've helped a lot of people in 27 some years. Oh, I'm sure we have. Yeah. <laughs> I have no list of it. I've only been volunteering for a year, so mm-hmm. there's okay. been some volunteers, some great people that's worked through uh, this ministry. And a lot of them have worked for many, many years. Mm-hmm. That's exactly right. Well, welcome aboard, and I want to find out maybe in a little bit how you got started and what this means to you, but tell us about Hands of God. Well, our purpose is to share God's love by responding to emergency needs and for the people in uh, western Rockingham County, the Madison, Mayo Dan, and Stoneville area. Uh, those emergency needs include uh, food at the food pantry, uh, clothes from the clothes closet, uh, assistance with utilities like power, heating, oil and gas, wood, water bills, and occasionally uh, we assist with paying uh, prescription medications as well. Unfortunately, phone bills and rent are not included in our assistance, but uh, we do try to assist wherever we can. Well, you, you've clicked off a lot of different ways you do help, that's for sure. Um, what are the, what's the criteria if someone comes to you and they need help? Ask for help. Ask for help, okay. <laughs> there's really, yeah. And there's a number that they can call, uh, you know, you can call it. It's open twenty four seven. You can just you just call them, and a a volunteer will get back to you within twenty four hours. And uh, we have uh, uh, ha- we have a lot of volunteers. We have like twenty eight. I think we have like thirty six volunteers total, including our board of directors. Twenty eight with the food pantry and the man in the phones, and then uh, eight. Uh, more people that just do, they do the clothes closet and uh, other things as well. You know, I think that uh, says a lot right there when when you talk to uh, some some groups from time to time. They, they don't have a lot, to, a lot of people to help. But when you've got, you know, close to 40 volunteers, uh, you folks uh, making a difference and, and really want to help, it sounds like. Well, i tell you what, it's been a, it's been a blessing to me. Uh, to just have this opportunity. Uh, and how did you get started? Life. How did you get started? What what kind of got you in, involved in this, Greg? Mm. Well, the opportunity arose. Uh, I was going through a lot of changes in my life, and uh, I was heard uh, a message at church. They were talking about, uh, you know, if you love me, feed my sheep. Mm. And, uh, then the opportunity came up with this, uh, got in touch with Sarah Stewart, and she set me up, and then uh, a gentleman named Michael Goad uh, sort of trained me. So that was about a year ago. Unfortunately, we've lost Michael since then. He was a, you know, he was a shining light for the organization. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, it's uh, it, it was just a blessing to me. It came at the right time. It was something that I needed at the time, and uh, it's been a blessing ever since. Well, uh, you mentioned Michael, and he and I did this podcast last year, good friend, and you're right. He was certainly one of the key people with, uh, with that ministry, for sure. And, and I like the way you, uh, you explained that there in just a few words. Uh, feed my sheep. That, that's, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is. It's, uh, that's their whole purpose is to share God's love by responding to whatever the people need. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, you mentioned a, a phone number a little bit ago, but we let's give that number. What is it, Mike? Uh, uh, okay. Greg? And that number is 336 uh, 548 4204. And you can call that number anytime, 24 uh, 7. You'll leave a message, and a volunteer will call you back within 24 hours. Okay, 336 548 4204. 
available anytime. Okay. Anytime. Now, you mentioned uh, the food pantry. Let's talk a little bit more about that and then the clothing. And uh, the food pantry is available when? Okay, that is available on, uh, uh, let's see, Mondays from 10 till 12 and from Thursdays from 12 till 2. Okay. Every week. Great. And uh, and I know the, the countywide food drive helps you. Uh, how How does that benefit you? Well, it benefits several organizations throughout the county, but uh, what, it'll go to like a central location. And then we, it's, it's distributed to the uh, various uh, organizations. So it's not only us; it's people all through the county. So mm-hmm. this helps a lot of different people. So they, they will take that food, and then we will get a portion of it to uh, assist in our distributions. And uh, once again, it you know we get to go out and we get to meet a lot of people to let them know of the needs in the county, different businesses and organizations. So we've been leaving boxes out for collection where people can actually leave donations, and then we'll go pick them up, uh, you know, every week or every two weeks, however often we need to, mm-hmm. and uh, that will be taken to the central location. What uh, what food items, what, what items do you need, uh, and where are those boxes? Oh, the boxes are... <laughs> If you look, you'll see them at uh, almost, you know, several, multiple businesses, mm-hmm. probably dozens and dozens throughout the county. Uh, you'll see a box usually near the entrance, mm-hmm. and uh, it will say uh, Rockingham County Annual Food Drive. And we're looking for non-perishable items. Um, we do have a refrigerator at the uh, food pantry, so if we do get, like, meats or eggs, we will put them in the freezer to uh, hand out as, as we have them but mm-hmm. uh for the most part we're looking for canned stuff uh you know anything is per- uh non-perishable uh mashed potatoes uh noodles uh anything that's non-perishable that someone could take and use as a an emergency food or as a daily meal mm-hmm. okay yeah those boxes are are all around the county a lot of businesses have have stepped up with that and um and at all uh, Rockin County Public Library branches and at all the fire departments around the county as well. So uh, no excuse. There are plenty of opportunities, plenty of those boxes out there to help. That's for sure. Yes. Yeah. What, yes, there are. What, what, what about the clothing giveaways? The clothing giveaway, uh, you can they can come there any time. That's between 10 and 12 on Monday and uh, the 12 and 2 on Thursday, they're there at the same time that the food pantry that we actually give out the food. Now, the food is only given out by appointment, so you will have to call that number, mm-hmm. and then that way they can put the box together. They would know how many people in your family, so they would know, you know, sort of what the need is. So they actually prepare each one is prepared individually. So the the clothing closet will be open at the same time. So when you come and get food, you're welcome to browse through the clothes closet. Uh, and get whatever you need. Yeah, okay. And you bag it up and you take it home. Yeah. Now, uh, can we help with that too? Do you need items if we have some things that we're not needing anymore? Sure. We have uh, volunteers that just do the clothes closet, and uh, they do a great job. And they take the uh, donations, they go through them, they sort them, uh, make sure everything is clean and in good repair. And, uh, you know, we get a lot of. Uh, new items as well uh that still have a lot you know the price tags and all that sort of like goodwill mm-hmm. uh but uh yeah you can uh you can donate uh items for the clothing clause as well as the food you can go directly to the pantry or you can uh, mail stuff in at our address uh, uh, and we're located at 115 Hunter Street in Madison, so you're welcome to bring anything by there. Yeah, 115 Hunter Street, that's uh, that's uh, pretty centrally located there. It's just uh, uh, kind of up from uh, Bob's Restaurant and uh, on one end and uh, First Baptist Church on the other end, so it's easy to find, isn't it? Yes, it is. We're located at the rear of the building, uh, and the building which is graciously provided to us by the Madison Methodist Church. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, thanks to Madison Methodist Church uh, for making that available, for sure. Yes. Okay. 
All right. Well, uh, you've covered a lot here, um, and I wanted to, want you to give the phone number out again, but is there anything else you needed to mention, Greg? Well, if you wanted to mail funds, you could mail them to us at, uh, you can mail to Hands of God. That would be P.O. Box 358, Madison, North Carolina, 27025. Uh, and would also like to mention uh, Duke Power because we do help with power bills, and Duke Power also provides us funds through the Share the Warmth and Share the cool, uh, Cooling plans. So mm-hmm. uh, thanks, uh, shout out to Duke Power as well. Oh, sure. Yeah, okay. It really, uh, it's a partnership for a lot of people, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. And, uh, you know, God has a way that uh, he can pull people together from different backgrounds, and they can work together as long as they stay in his will, and things come together, and they work out. Mm-hmm, Yeah. And the need, as we know, is always there, too. Yes, it is. And, you know, uh, we, we've got a, a serious, uh, as we're doing this program this morning, Wednesday morning, uh, we've got a serious situation with a, with a fire and a fatality, uh, perhaps there in the western Rockingham County area this morning. Uh, and, uh, you know, that is uh, something that uh, we, we never expect. It just happens. But I know you help a lot of people and have helped over the years with um, uh, in, in fire situations, too, don't you? We do, especially like in a situation like that, because that's a traumatic situation for uh, the people involved. Mm-hmm. And I was not aware of that situation you just uh, discussed, but I'll, re- I'll see if I can figure out some more information on yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's in the Madison Beach area. Uh, not, a, not a lot of news out about that yet. They're all still there, but uh, so that's pretty current. But uh, and how about volunteers? I know you said you got 36 volunteers. Uh, can you use any more from time to time? Sure. Uh, if, you know, we don't turn anybody away, yeah. you know, if if you want to work. But let me tell you what, there's some work. Uh, if you come, they will you will work. Yeah, so okay. There's a lot to do. Yeah. The need is there and, and the work is there. So be prepared to, to jump in and do it. Okay. Yes, it is. And if I could, one, one more thing. Sure. The, uh, the Boy Scouts of America, they recently had a food drive, and uh, they brought in over 2,800 pounds of oh, food. Oh, wow. And that was, I, I just thought that was simply amazing, uh, the Boy Scouts and the Cub Scouts in the area. and It was just amazing. Oh, well, congratulations and thanks to them, yeah, for bringing that in. And and that's that uh, makes a statement there, too, about those young people, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Mm-hmm. And they had a heart. They had a heart for what they were doing. Yeah. And I know you do, too, and it, it, it seems very personal with you. And uh, thanks to you and the volunteers and everyone for making it happen and helping so many people for so many years with uh, Hands of God there on Hunter Street in Madison. Uh, thank you, Greg. It's good to get acquainted. I appreciate your hard work there. Oh, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. You have a great day. You do, too. Thanks. Uh, bye-bye. All right. That's one of our agencies benefiting from the uh, countywide food drive, it's going on during March and April. You can help uh, these agencies in so many ways. Uh, Hands of God is just one of them there in Madison, and that's Greg Braswell. Uh, let me give you the main number there for that ministry at Hands of God in Madison. Uh, this number is available 24 7 336 548 4204. 548 4204. And another uh, couple of numbers here, the uh, the co-chairman of uh, the Countywide Food Drive. Uh, let's start with Neil Jakes. Uh, Neil is at 336-613-6292. And then we have Blake Dawson, and his number is 336-432-2843. And as Greg mentioned, those boxes are in a lot of businesses all around the county, you find them at the library, find them at the fire departments around the county. Please help. Uh, the need is there all the time, and we appreciate your support.